This is NASA astronaut Scott Kelly. He was inducted into the National Astronaut Hall of Fame in 2021. Today, his twin brother, who mailed this gorilla suit to him in space as a birthday gift, joins him in the Hall of Fame. They sat down with Now This to talk about some of their favorite first moments of their spaceflight careers. You were first, the first person in our family that was called to be accepted at NASA. I was clearly the first person who flew in space though. Wasn't even close. That is true, that is true, but almost everything else in life I have done first. I was born first, I graduated from college first and grad school, I got my wings first in the United States Navy, and you could go on and on and on. Okay. But he did fly in space first. And I have to give this to him for a lot more time than I did. I spent 54 days in space, Scott spent 520 days in space. A long time. That's like 3% of your life. Yeah. I don't even have a recollection of when I filled out the application for NASA ever talking to Mark about it. Maybe. Come on. We do it. I sitting, I remember sitting at your dining room table and I remember convincing you. Okay. Over dinner one night that you should apply to be an astronaut as well. And then you did. And thanks to me, it's all on me. You got selected. I thought my, I don't remember that part, but I do remember the part where there was a, a clerical error at NASA and they chose you by accident. <laughs> it was great to be, you know, at NASA in the astronaut office, learning new stuff. The space shuttle takes a lot of time and effort to, to learn to get to the point where you're ready to be assigned to a space flight. They basically assign people based on how talented they are. The most talented by first, and then I think Mark was somewhere and down towards the middle. <laughs> I think for most astronauts, you get a little bit more nervous when your friends, your colleagues are flying than when you are personally. And certainly with my brother, yeah, I would say you would magnify that. I tried to explain to him what like launch would be like because the launch is really amazing. And despite my efforts of two years trying to tell him what it was going to be like, when he landed and they opened the hatch, the first thing he says to me, he goes, I had no idea what that launch was going to be like. I remember thinking it was supposed to feel like it was going up really smoothly, and it doesn't feel anything like that. It feels like you're being bounced around side to side like dozens of feet as you're going up. On TV, it looks like this. In real life, it's like this. With their identical genetic makeup, the Kellys allowed NASA to conduct a biomedical study on how Scott's body changed during his year-long mission in space compared to Mark's body on Earth. Apparently 7% of my gene expression changed, so our genes are DNA, RNA, protein. Those same three things control like all of our physiology. And gene expression is like turning a switch on or off. And 7% of mine had seemingly been affected by the space environment. And that didn't change back, right? Still the same today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, you know, the biggest result of that whole study was that after me spending a year in space, I'm not only now smarter, but also more handsome than my brother Mark. <laughs> the twin study significantly transformed scientists' understanding of how the human body adapts to the spaceflight environment. 